This is Ashton Marcus, and I'm on location at Antius Theatre for their presentation of Shakespeare's As You Like It. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm at KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with? Rob Clare. I'm the director of the show, As You Like It. So, question. How did you do this? First of all, the, the, I always ask directors about the story and about the cast. That's where the story obviously is Shakespeare, so it's fantastic. This seems different though. I've seen a lot of Shakespeare. Some of it's boring, some of it is, you know, that's okay. Some of it's really well done. This one actually was really contemporary. How'd you, how'd you do something like that? Well, contemporary. I, um, hey, I, I'm, a, I'm a great believer in the fact that these plays are timeless. Uh, if you play them with clarity and intention is clear, they always seem contemporary because. You know what, I think Shakespeare was ahead of his own time. I think he was also ahead of our time. I think we're still catching up. People are put off by the, you know, they look at the words on the page and they see 400 year old language and syntax and so on. But following the play is not the same as translating and the language is only a part of the play. The play comes alive in front of you when the, when the characters are interacting, not only with each other, but with the audience too. Um, and I, I'm a great believer in, in uh, the characters in a Shakespeare play having a kind of double life where they have complete truth in their way they relate to each other, but they're also uh, aware that the audience is there and they're playing the audience too. So that brings the audience in and engages the audience in a way that has them constantly thinking, what would I be doing in this situation? How would I be reacting in this situation? And that's what makes it, I think, feel contemporary to you. We feel that we are a part of it and it applies to us. Um, that's very much my kind of MO in terms of dealing with these texts and so that's one of the things I brought to this company in terms of how I, I would like us to approach the play and approach the experience of playing the play. So I'm glad you feel that it feels contemporary. It does to me too. Um, it's about people. It's about the way we interact with each other. We're complicated. We're conflicted. And if we bring that complication and conflict uh, immediately, not only to each other in the space, but also to the audience watching, then we're celebrating our shared humanity at the same time that we're following the, the <laughs> extraordinary journeys of these particular people through this set of events. Yeah, so that, I, 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 think, I think it's always possible to make the play feel contemporary in that way. And that's why when I um, spoke with the designers about where did they want to set the play, I said I do not want to set it in such a way that you look at the costumes or the set and go, okay, we're in this society at that time. I wanted something a bit more timeless than that so that we all feel that we are part of it, and the, the, the audience too, as well as the actors on stage. So, does that answer the question? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Other side of it, casting. I always ask directors about casting, because I feel like between the story and the casting, that's like 99% of the play. Now, I just love the cast. They all, they, they all see, first of all, it wasn't boring. They didn't, they were really dominated. Of that. <laughs> they, they were kind of dumb. You know how some people are dominated by me because they've heard it since they were five, and they try to do an imitation of Sir Lawrence or Olivier. They oh, no, 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 no. No, every actor is different. Every actor is special. One of the great things about the partner casting here is that it underlines, I think, a great truth about these plays. There is no template for playing these characters. There is no right or better or correct way of playing them. They are completely open to interpretation. Um, I'm a great believer in that, and the, 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 the character is forged by the choices that, that the actors and directors make between them in rehearsal. Um, and when you have two actors playing the same role, it underlines this truth that there are actors in the other cast who are going to open tomorrow night who are playing within the same production, uh, and, and, the, and the same production is, is definitely there. It's not a different production, um, but they're playing different choices, different takes on different moments, different, uh, well, different lines through the play even, and so, and, and each are to be individually celebrated. Um, the other cast is absolutely as strong as the cast you've been watching tonight. Um, in, in much of the overlap is, is, is in terms of similarity, but other things are different. And still the, the sum of the parts is the same production, um, and yet the, within it there are great variations and great, and great differences in the takes on it. I love that, and that's one of the aspects of the partner casting thing. 
that as a first timer with it, I've never done this before, I have loved about the experience. And that's special to this company, Antius. It's, an, it's, a, it's a big reason that if they invite me to come back, I'll come. I'll come back and do it again. It's been wonderful fun. So question, what do you look for in your casting? I look to get interesting actors in the room. I'm not looking to fit, as I say, a preconceived idea of the play or not. I'm looking to just get interesting actors in. There are people who came in to audition for particular roles in this play that I cast in other roles. Um, not because I thought they fitted other roles better, but because I thought they were people I wanted in the company. And now let's tailor the roles to those actors and their strengths. Um, and I, I'm a great believer in that. I think it's about getting a bunch of talented, committed, uh, mutually supportive people in a space together and then forging the journey between us. So that's, that's my take on it. Hey, I'm a director now, but I was an actor. And I used to think as an actor, I used to perhaps deluded myself as an actor. I thought I could do all kinds of stuff. Don't, don't, don't bracket me in any one particular type or kind of role. Let me show you what I can do. So as a director, I try to give actors space and freedom to create and, and claim the space for themselves. Um, and if you feel the results are good, well, I'm glad to hear it. Once again, I love the piece. I thought it was fantastic. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. Also, it wasn't. It was exciting. It was exciting. Shakespeare, entertaining. I loved it from beginning to end. Good, good. I, 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 I love it too. I'm thrilled that you enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you once again for being on the show. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with. Hi, I'm Sally Hughes. I'm playing Rosalind in Antius Theater Company's As You Like It. I'm I'm a native Texan, and I then I studied acting at Boston University and. And um, moved to New York and then moved to Los Angeles and I've been involved in the LA theater community for a couple years now. I'm a member of Antius and I've done a couple shows here as well as other theater theaters around LA and it's really where my passion is. Great, and which character did you play tonight? Rosalind. I think she's an amazingly complicated woman and it's Shakespeare's largest female role. Uh, which is intimidating to tackle, but also a joy. She has um, such complexity of, of spirit, and her wit is, uh, I would uh, arguably say, uh, second to none within Shakespeare's canon. And, um, you know, I, what I really enjoyed about her is uh, her ability to throw herself into the situation that she has been put in and to make the best of it. And when it doesn't go the way she planned, her, her wit, as I said, her wit finds a way to get her out of that situation and on to the next. And I find that a really admirable quality. Yeah, I found I found the play fantastic. I thought I thought it was great acting. Obviously, the story is Shakespeare. Yeah. Great story. Casting was fantastic, also the actors. I actually enjoyed the way you played it too, because nowadays it may seem a little dated, you know, being in drag, being, you know, with, with sexual, uh, you know, sexual uh, uh, tendencies nowadays. It might play differently, but it, you actually, you guys actually played it really well. It actually was had a classical theme to it, and it didn't seem, it didn't seem kind of messed up by modern times. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah. Um, you know, we didn't, we weren't uh, attempting to play it as strictly classical, strictly Elizabethan or anything like that. We kind of were thinking of it as not any sort of out, out of time. Um, but with doing the, the drag thing, woman dressed up as a man, there are a couple of pants roles in Shakespeare and they can be played in different ways. And I, 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 I didn't have an interest in kind of doing a crazy like man voice or a crazy man body. I, I really saw it as a way um, to Rosalind's disguise at once frees her in a, in a society where men have much more power. A disguise as a man frees her up and she can be more open and um, take more power in certain ways, but it also traps her. So it's fun to play with the moments when she feels free in that disguise and the moments when she just wants to rip off those pants and tell Orlando, it's me and I love you, you know? I also thought it was a very good blend again of being having classical flavors, but also it was very, it wasn't boring. That, and, you know, Shakespeare at times could be boring, and again, we've seen this before, so we've seen this a dozen times. So you guys kept it really fresh, and also again, didn't make it too dated, too stale. 
Great. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm really glad that that you felt that way. You know, it, it, Shakespeare is done a lot, and for better or for worse, yes, it, it can be boring or in inaccessible. The text of this play is quite accessible in itself, uh, which I think helped us a lot, obviously. Our director, Rob Clare, is a internationally known Shakespeare scholar, so he was obviously very helpful in breaking open the text and helping us to convey it to an audience in a clear way. Um, and I think it's just, it's such a fun story and it is a love story, but I really enjoyed that we dug into the darker parts of it as well. And because there are, especially in the first half of the play, there are parts of it that aren't so ha-ha funny. And having the freedom to dig into those moments was really exciting. And I think that brings kind of a new, newer take on the play, a, a take that you don't see as often. Once again, I really love the piece. I love the acting. You guys, you guys are fantastic. I particularly love your acting also. Oh, thank, thank you very much. That means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for being on the show. Yeah, my pleasure. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI, 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm Noah. Desiree Michung. I'm a theater actress in LA. I'm originally from Denver, adopted from South Korea. And um, Okay, and which character do you play? I'm Celia. I play Celia. She is a strong, powerful woman who not ne doesn't necessarily believe in the traditional love and kind of sh uh, shuns it away and then actually through this journey ends up finding her own version of a love story. I really like the performance tonight. I, I really like your performance also. There are a lot of subtle things you did with your face, uh, you know, not not having the meter in your language dominate your acting because there are a lot of pauses that I really enjoy because you actually you actually connect with the audience and communicate with them. Thank you so much. That's, I really appreciate that because it's, I mean, the language can be sometimes a barrier and so any way that you can find truth and connection, um, it's, it's so important because what you're saying is so, it, it's actually a very um, visceral experience and so if you're able to share it in that way, it's, you get the story. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of people, they memorize it through the meter and they actually just kind of, kind of, out of a while, it's entertaining, like listening to a song, but after a couple of hours, basically, it kind of drones on a little bit. I've noticed you break your meter every now and then. It's not like you've memorized it and you memorize it like you're humming a song. I only, a lot, half of a half, um, I have prose, and then half is, uh, there's actually only a few areas where I do have the meter. So, um, but the meter can really help you too, but it takes a lot of practice to have the meter serve you as opposed to being beholden or struggling with the meter. Yeah, yeah. Okay, once again, I really enjoyed the performance. I liked your performance also very much. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. It was really, I really appreciate meeting you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI, 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with Matthew Gallenstein. I actually grew up in Mission Viejo. So, yeah, I am an Orange County at native. And I played Orlando in the production of As You Like It. 90% of the time that you see productions of As You Like It, Orlando's played as a very sweet but kind of dumb guy. Uh, and Rosalind kind of runs circles around him. But the director, Rob, really supported the idea that he's not a dumb guy. He's just a guy who keeps his feelings close to his chest. It's hard for him to open up. And his silence isn't stupidity, but his silence is feeling things out. And I think that gave a lot more of a clear and deeper arc for us to play with. I see a lot of Shakespeare. This one I really enjoyed. It was a little different from everyone else. Uh, it was more contemporary. How how can I say it's more contemporary? It was a classical piece that seemed more identifiable by the audience. The actors really put a lot into it. It wasn't like they were doing imitations of other actors. Absolutely. And I think uh, I got to tip my hat to the director, Rob Clay, once again. He, um, his ability to just make sure that what we were saying was clear and people followed the story and always kept going back to the story and keep digging with the words and playing with them and finding new things. Um, I'm still playing with things uh, even though we opened tonight. Um, so I got a, it's a testament to his direction, I'll say. Okay. Once again, I really enjoyed the performance. I, I really enjoyed your performance also. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, man. Take care. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI, 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with? Uh, James Satorius. 
I just did the play tonight, uh, as you like it, play Jake Wees, and uh, my bio is, uh, you can go uh, online and look up my name. There's so much, you know, a lot of TV, a lot of theater in New York. Uh, I mean, not one thing that would stand out like, oh, you knew me from that, but, you know, just an accumulation of a lot of work, you know, that's, uh, you know, and so the theater is what I love, and that's what we did tonight. And which character do you play? I play Jake Weiss, the melancholy one. He's an observer, he's a narrator, he's looking at it. He does a famous speech, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women, you seven ages of man. So uh, it's a wonderful part you know, that you can just sort of go and be on your own. So anyway. Yeah, you know, when I, when I interview people for Shakespeare, a lot of times, you know, I kind of get the feeling they've seen this before. They're just doing imitations of the people they've seen before. It's the same thing. You guys did it differently. You guys are a very unique take on all these characters. Well, that's the director, you know, Rob Clare, and that's what, you know, he, that was he brought to it. We broke the fourth wall a lot. There was no fourth wall. The fourth wall was behind the audience. So we, so we used, uh, as you saw that I did, used them a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's, it was a great take. It's a very audience-friendly, I think, per production. You know, performance. So, oh, once again, a really lovely performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with. Hi, I'm JD Cullum. I play Touchstone. I've been with Antius since uh, 1993, and uh, originally from New York City, came out here to do uh, lots of film and television. Ended up doing tons of theater, but uh, this is uh, my home right now. I play the, the role of Touchstone, which is the clown that's impossible to play. So I did the best I could. I made a fool of myself, and that's what you have to do. I think you just have to really go for it uh, with this character. Uh, I, you know, used a lot of contemporary references. I kind of stepped outside of the play. We did a little a bit of pointing at the stage manager to have some sound cues, and then I danced with some audience members. Um, because otherwise, if you look at the text of Touchstone, it just is very hard for contemporary audiences to understand. So I think in the spirit of fun, you just uh, become a general clown. I really liked your performance. I thought you were fantastic. Thank you very very much. I appreciate it. I'm glad you came. Yeah, actually, I kind of feel... I remember Robin Williams, because he was classically trained from Juilliard. Yes. And he would actually do a lot of improvisation. He would lose his body. He would actually do a lot of movement. I saw a lot of that in your work. Yes, I've been compared to Robin Williams uh, before, which, of course, is, is very flattering. And, uh, yeah, I try to really keep it as loose as possible and sort of hurl myself at every scene without trying to plan too much. It tends to work best when you put yourself in awkward situations and then try to recover. Once again, I really loved your performance. I thought you really, you know, you added a, obviously a comical relief, but also, again, a very classical style of clowning, and I, I just really, I thought you did a fantastic performance. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for being on the show. All right, take care. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI, 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with? I'm Brian Abraham. I've been an actor in Los Angeles for the last couple of years. I'm a member of the Antius Company, uh, and we're just proud to present such wonderful Shakespearean theater to our audiences at a reasonable price. And, you know, we're all professional theater uh, actors. So it's wonderful to be able to, um, you know, work in an arena that allows regular everyday people to experience Shakespeare. I play Duke Frederick. He's just a dad put in a bad situation. Most people would look at him and think he's the bad guy of the play, uh, but I choose to try and find the human aspect in him, and I just think he's a guy who's trying, you know, he sees his world slipping away from him, and he's getting older and losing control. So in order to try and retain control, he squeezes those around him tighter and ends up pushing out everyone he loves. And consequently, audiences may think he's the bad guy of the play, but I like to think of him as just a poor lost dad. I personally, I love anti-heroes and villains. I think you played it really well. You really humanized the guy. That is great to hear. Thank you so much, because that's exactly, you know, the first time I got the script, that's exactly what I was trying to do, was to make him a real person, not just a stock character. In general, the, the entire ensemble, the entire cast, they actually did something different, because I see a lot of Shakespeare. A lot of times they, they, they put it almost like, like you're listening to the radio. They've memorized everything. It's all metered. And, you know, afterwards, it kind of drones on. But you guys actually actually connected with the audience and actually gave a lot into it. You know, it made it different from everyone else. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah, you know, the real, the key to doing Shakespeare is to make it feel like it's your own words, that you're speaking them today, honestly, truthfully, in these circumstances. And uh, one of the hardest things to do is to take such, you know, language that's written 500 years ago and bring it immediate 
to 2017, uh, and it's has to, our job as a creative artist. So it's nice to hear that we're able to speak it in a way that is, you know, still fresh in the listener's ear and not just quote unquote Shakespeare talk. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, I really love the performance. I love your performance also. Thank you very much for being on the show. My, my absolute pleasure. Thanks for talking to me. Take care. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with. I'm Bernard Addison. Well, I'm currently doing uh, Duke Senior here at As You Like It at Antis Theater Company. I'm an actor and also an instructor. Been in Los Angeles for 17 years. Uh, which character do you play again? Duke Senior. The Duke is someone that has gone through a hard time in his life and is beginning to make sense of it all because he's been banished. And he's got people around him that believe in him and so they make do with what's going on. You know, he misses his daughter, but there's very little in the play to even suggest that he really knows his daughter. And, you know, otherwise, how would he not see her disguised? You know, so, um, uh, he's one of the, he and Jayquees have a very special relationship in what they understand each other. They understand, um, they understand life in terms of the melancholy and that it's okay to be melancholic and where other people young people tend to run away from sadness or you know moments of just like um, introspection and he doesn't I really love the performance. You guys really, it was different from other Shakespeare plays where they're kind of boring. You know, some Shakespeare is boring. And some of it, you know, it's almost like they memorize the meter. It's almost like they memorize a song. This one was different. It was fresh. You connected with the audience. You, you know, you, you made it contemporary. I don't know how you guys do it, how you make Shakespeare contemporary. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know whether it's, I mean, Shakespeare is Shakespeare. And I think the contemporary nature of it is that when you know what you're saying and you make sure that there you rely on the audience's intelligence to understand what you're saying it does become contemporary there is a meter there is a beat to it and you do honor that um, and I think I think some people I don't know I, I can't say about other productions I just say with this one it was all about making sure that you know the, that the connection was deeper that allowed you to play with the language and still honor the meter. Once again, I really love the performance and I really love your performance also. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine. And I'm here with... Anna La Madrid. I was born in Venezuela. I lived in New York for a while and I've been in LA for about a year and a half. I'm playing Phoebe in the show. I think Phoebe is someone who's an alpha woman who thinks she needs an alpha man, but really she just needs a beta male like Sylvia. And I think she really learns what love really is. I really love the performance tonight. The actors did a fantastic job. Obviously, the story is fantastic because of Shakespeare, well-known Shakespeare piece. But I actually liked your piece because actually you made it very, very subtle. You put a lot of movement in it, communicated, and it, you know it, it wasn't dry and boring. But it was it's very, very, very entertaining. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, English is my second language. I was born in Venezuela, so I was always intimidated by poetry. But I think the more relatable you can make it, and the more you're actually communicating, has been really helpful to me. And I'm I'm so glad that you said that because then I did my job. Yeah, because again, you know, other people put a classical meter on and kind of put it on play. You know, from the beginning to end, they would keep the same meter. I noticed you broke into it and you added a lot of emotion when you when you put certain pauses, when you did certain subtle gestures that actually captured your attention. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just pretty much think about what Shakespeare said and then I put it the way I would say it in my own words and then marry those two things. Once again, I really love the performance, and I really love your performance, also. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much for being on the show. Of course. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with... Uh, Karen Melina White, playing Audrey, as you like it. I'm known for television work in the Cosby, A Different World, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, um, but at NTS I've done The Liar, You Can't Take It With You, and The Wedding Band. Okay. And which character did you play tonight? I played Audrey. Audrey is just a fun-loving girl. This guy whips into town, and, you know, she falls in love, and it's going to be a short affair, but she's 
she's in it, 100%. Yes. I love the performance tonight. First of all, it was classical Shakespeare, so obviously great story. But also the acting was fantastic. I, I loved your acting also. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we're really, really having a great time. Uh, just really fortunate to have Rob Clare, you know, really a uh, wonderful interpreter and historian in Shakespeare. So it was just, just such a lovely treat to have him. Yeah, plus also Shakespeare had a tendency to be a little dry, unless the actors really kind of personalize it with the audience, kind of connect with the audience. And you guys did a really nice job of actually, you know, humanize, you know, humanizing Shakespeare, making it relevant. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I we, you know, I, that was really under the direction of Mr. Clare. I mean, it was just really great for us to just bring ourselves to the role, and, and that really helps tell the story for sure. Yeah. And also, I like the I like the romance too, too. Because again, Shakespeare, it's not about dying. This was actually a comedy. It's enjoyable. It's something that you know, you know, I think modern audiences will love a lot. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Love. We love. We love. We love. Love. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Once again, I really love the performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Ashton Marcus. I'm with KUCI 88.9 FM in Irvine, and I'm here with I'm John Bobek. I play Amiens in the show. Uh, I'm an actor and a singer-songwriter from Milwaukee originally. Now I live out in Los Angeles. I think Amiens is, is a really fun character. I get to come in. I get to sing uh, these guys that uh, the, the Duke is banished, and these guys follow him out. They don't have to be there, but they follow him voluntarily. And uh, I get to go and sing songs and entertain, make merriment in the woods. It's, it's great. I go to a lot of Shakespeare, but I really, how should I put it? this is the first one I really went to, I really enjoyed the songs, they were fantastic. Yeah, it's funny, you know, I mean, Shakespeare writes these songs, they're in the script, but sometimes they're, they're very hard to figure out what he heard, so we, we really had to kind of make our own and do our own thing with it, and I think it turned out alright. Were you the musical director, or did you have someone else uh, help you with the songs? Um, so there is a musical director, his name is Peter Bain, he did all the a ambient music that you heard in it, um, but he, they gave us a lot of free reign to make up the melodies that we wanted for the songs so it was great so actually Ian who does the uh, he's my partner he's, he does the other cast does a completely different song in the middle of the show than I do so it's you, you see the show twice you see completely different music once again the fa music was fantastic I love just seeing you highly talented I, re I really recommend people coming and listening to the songs because they're fantastic oh thank you so much for saying that man I appreciate you guys coming here and supporting our theater it's awesome okay once again, really enjoyed your performance. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. As You Like It, we'll be playing at Antius Theater from July 20th to September 10th. For more information, go to www.antius.org.